Matt from Best Quant. Today is Monday, June 1st, 2020. And this morning we saw the markets uh, gap down and put in the low of the day, basically right in the opening uh, portion of the day. First five minute uh, candlestick here for the ES makes the low of the day. Since then, we have kind of climbed higher back towards uh, Friday's close and Friday's high of the session. And today's first trading day of the month. So what I want to do is look at what has happened historically going in to the close on the first trading day of the month when you're holding in the top portion of the range. So I'm just going to use um, holding above the top 50% of the range. And uh, that looks like it's probably true, just eyeballing it here for all of the instruments uh, going into the close. So as of now, it's true. I guess it could change by the time we actually uh, get to 3 p.m., which is what time I'm going to use for the the test. So let me set this up and we will set it up in all four instruments. The setup intraday time based entry at 3 p.m. Eastern Time. So let me select that. It is set up as a long with an exit at the close of regular trading hours. Uh, we're going to add the post open filter that it is trading in the top half of the intraday range. So I'm going to hit equals here. And then I'm going to go into the calendar section and I'm going to add that it is the first trading day of the month and hit view results. And here are the results for going long at 3 p.m. Eastern Time, exiting at the close of regular trading hours, 4.15 p.m. Eastern Time, when trading in the top half of the intraday range on the first trading day of the month. So looking at the stats here, we've got ES 105 samples, NASDAQ 109, YM 105, Russell 113. So a little bit over 100 in all of these. Win rates for them, ES coming in at 57, NASDAQ a little bit stronger, close to 60, uh, YM just 53, and Russell the strongest of the group at about 65% of those uh, closing higher than the 3 p.m. Eastern time price. And looking at the equity curve, you can see there wasn't really um, much of a direction in the equity curve here for many years. It's kind of just going sideways, but it starts getting steeper. Um, back here, what, around 2014, 2015, somewhere in here, you can start to see that it starts climbing a, a bit more steady. And you can see that below as well. And the recent years have the higher win rates. So uh, this is the ES. And the past five years, 70% of those have closed higher than the 3 p.m. Eastern Time price. Uh, NASDAQ, same ballpark there, 31 samples, 74% of those. So pretty strong on that one. Uh, Dow, 30 uh, samples, 70% win rate. And Russell, wow, even stronger. Russell, the strongest of the group. But uh, it looks like uh, the past handful of years, this has been fairly bullish into the close on a fairly consistent basis. Uh, long term, not as strong. But uh, in recent memory, uh, looking here the past handful of years, it has favored the bulls going into the close. So hope you found that interesting. Good luck, and we will see you next time.